Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for August 16, 2016. Um, thank you very, very much for being here with me for all your support. Um, I really, really do appreciate it and I like to uh, just take a second to say thank you. And um, so we're looking at the energies for, well, the en energies surrounding us, the potential available to us on August 16th, 2016. Um, and what we need to know about these energies in order to use them for our highest good. It feels like it's going to be a significant day for us, a day when some major, major changes are, are um either going to happen or we can make them happen. We can cause major change in our lives, create major change in our lives. Um, so let's just get started. Well, we have two major arcana cards. So again, significant day, significant energy. I feel like this is one of those days where we are going to be looking back to and saying that's where this all started. That's when that happened. That's when this whole process started or whatever the, this situation may be for you. Um, the energy of the past on our current situation, we have the wheel, okay, the influence of the past, sorry. We have the energy of the wheel, the wheel of fortune. And so this is what is currently influencing us from the past. And the wheel is about cycles. The wheel is about meant to be energy um, this is also talking about um, circles, okay, going round in circles or vicious cycles in our lives. Um, the wheel is also potentially a time in our lives where we felt like we did not have control over what was going on in our lives or um, we were experience, experiencing a lot of change. One day looked different from the other, from the next, from the previous and so on and so forth. It was a time of transformation in our lives. A time where uh, when we had the opportunity to close some doors in order to open new doors in our lives um, and there's also the energy of fate so meant to be energy things that we um, actually didn't really work that hard for they just happened or um, actually things that we didn't wish for or maybe they were unpleasant as we were experiencing them uh, but again meant to be we couldn't fight it we couldn't run away from it something just happened and we had to deal with it the energy of today is the energy of the lovers and that's another major arcana card in our reading and the lovers is a card that talks about choices and also commitments um it is also a card that shows up when we're dealing with um, meant to be energy but also kind of soulmate energy um, so the message for today is shaping up to talk about what is it that we want to change in our lives what is it that um, we have learned and therefore changed the cycle we were going through or it's time to end that cycle and start a new one with the lovers it's about committing to that um, this could also be a day talking about looking our uh, looking at our relationships, and this can be romantic relationships definitely. Uh, this could be friendships. This could be a relationship with ourselves. Um, our soulmates are not always romantic people in our lives or romantic interests in our lives. Um, a soulmate, for me at least in my experience, um, is someone who we've always been around each other. Okay, throughout the different lifetimes that we've been in. Um, and sometimes we were lovers, sometimes we were mother and daughter, mother and, um, and son or friends or siblings. Um, sometimes we were enemies, sometimes we were the closest friends, whatever the case may be. Um, but just to say soulmates are not always romantic per people in, in our lives. Um, and so for today, it feels like soulmate relationships definitely starting in our lives or they are our focus today um, what is it that we have been going through over and over again um, we wanted to move away from it we couldn't we went back into you know the cycle we went back into that vicious cycle going through it over and over again until 
we understood the pattern behind it, okay? It's also a day looking at our patterns, how we see ourselves, how we see our partners, how we see our friends or family, how we re interact with the world. Um, what is it that we have been taught that is not actually true anymore? We've outgrown that particular pattern or situation or um, perspective, okay, that was taught to us. Today is about looking at all that and making choices. What is it that is a healthy influence in my life? And what is it that I've been doing over and over again? Not fully, under fully understanding the reason why, but I've been doing it over and over again and it's not been a healthy situation. It's not been a happy situation in my life. What is it that I can do to change that, okay? And committing to that, all right? I feel like today is a very powerful day of breaking patterns, breaking free of ruts, breaking free of emotional um, negative toxic situations and this can be in romantic relationships this can be in our interaction with a friend siblings um, co-workers and someone who has a really big influence in our lives for better or for worse um, and it's time for us to look at those patterns it's time for us to identify what we want to do if it was in the past if we felt like we did not have control over what was going on with the energy of the wheel in our present situation we have the lovers talking about choices talking about the fact that now we get a choice now we get a say because we've gone through those lessons and so in those cycles so many times that now we have the information we need we have the experience we need to make a difference in that situation or to change or remove that situation from our lives and if we do that, the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the energy of the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is beautiful energy, okay? It's our wish card. It is breaking free of patterns. It is releasing pain. It is releasing negativity, releasing toxic people situations from our lives. And just being happy and at peace, all right? That's what the Nine of Cups represents for me in this particular instance. It is also a card that talks about rewarding ourselves for for a job well done. It's a car that talks about feeling abundant, prosperous, and abundance, you know, means different things to different people. But feeling that strong sense of abundance, feeling that strong sense of um, finally I get my way, finally I'm happy, finally this dream is coming true for me and I've been through so much and I've had to make so many different difficult choices but I've done it, and apparently I've done it right because with the Nine of Cups, here I am enjoying the rewards, okay? It's the universe's way of rewarding us for making happy, healthy commitments in our lives, okay? And breaking free of patterns that have been weighing us down or hurting us along the way. Our guidance card for today is Bronze 14. Strengthen your body. So bronze is a card, well, it's a color and energy um, that helps us feel stronger, more confident. Um, this is also a wonderful energy to use in uh, negotiations. Also, wonderful energy to use to strengthen our resolve, strengthen our willpower in order to break free of any toxic or negative pattern um, that we've been going through and reenacting or reliving over and over again. I do feel like today is a day of change. Okay, we have the number 14 that adds up to a 5. That talks about change. It talks about doing things differently for a change. Um, initiating change. Okay, making different choices now and different commitments. And it can be anything in your life that you can commit to or that you've been struggling with, um, anything. You can even say, I commit to putting myself first today or I commit to really work hard at removing myself from this toxic, vicious cycle relationship that I've been going through over and over again and it never gets better, it always gets worse and more difficult and more painful. 
I commit today to choose to do things differently. I commit today to myself and my happiness, my well-being. And that's how I will be free and happy and strong, confident, moving forward and creating change in my life that is happy and healthy change. And again, it can be anything. I'm just giving you um, examples, but it can be anything. Uh, I always say use your intuition to take away the message of the reading and apply it to what you're going through. Um, but it's definitely, just to sum up, it's a day of breaking free of patterns today. We're committing to start that process, committing to start walking on that path, on that different path that we've been on until now. Um, making different choices, all right, turning left instead of always turning right, that sort of thing. So today I feel would be a really good day and also work with bronze or wear bronze color. Um, it would be a really big help in feeling stronger and more confident um, and actually believing that, you know what, I'm going to make things different. I'm going to create change in my life. I'm going to create the change that I want to see in my life. I will focus on myself more, for example, if I've always been giving to other people. I will focus on myself more. And that's my commitment. That is the change that I'm starting with today. To break free of that pattern of always putting other people above myself. Whatever the situation may be for you, it's a beautiful day for freedom, for peace, harmony that comes with making a commitment that we know is healthy for us, that we know will help us break free of toxic, negative patterns in our lives that we've been experiencing until now over and over again. And this is the right direction to go in because we have the Nine of Cups as the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with if we go through this process and we actually look at what we need to change in our lives or what we want to change, what we feel we should change in our lives today. So um, do some reflection, meditation, make a choice and then stick with it. Follow through and before you know it, you will be free, happy and healthy. So there we have it. That's our message for today. It's a really, really strong message. And it's almost like we get second chances. We get a chance to change things in our lives that have been the way they have for years and years for some of us for a really long time anyway. We finally get a say. We finally get to decide what we want to do, what we want to see happen in our lives. So uh, hopefully we all take advantage of this energy, really use it to our um, advantage for our highest good. Um, and thank you very, very much for being here with me. Uh, remember, you can also follow me on Instagram now. I will link the account um, in the description box below. Um, and also just um, a quick reminder, I will be going on holiday towards the end of the, of the week. Um, and so Skype readings won't be available until the end of the month. And also I won't be able to post daily messages, daily readings on YouTube but private readings, recorded videos will still be available. So just to let you know when I disappear, okay, I don't want people um, wondering where I am. Just to let you know, I'm letting you know ahead of time. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can relax and unwind and recharge my batteries so I can come back and uh, catch up on work and get back to you. So uh, again, thank you for being here and for all your support. I hope we all have a really fantastic day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.